President Trump's proposed 2021 budget would cut almost a trillion dollars from Medicaid. Today at a hearing on the proposal, New Hampshire Senator Maggie Hassan challenged Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar over the cuts. Hassan says four in 10 adults with substance abuse disorder rely on Medicaid for things like naloxone, medication-assisted treatment, residential rehab, and outpatient therapy. She told the story of Ashley Raymond from Enfield, New Hampshire, who started using opioids at 15 and wasn't able to access treatment until she got coverage through Medicaid. She also asked about the administration's attempts to overturn the Affordable Care Act and whether the White House would guarantee coverage for pre-existing conditions like substance abuse disorder, pregnancy, diabetes, and heart disease. Are there specific elements in your budget that provide those protections? There would be no change to the Affordable Care Act that doesn't protect pre-existing conditions. So even if at some remote date and the remote possibility of the Supreme Court final decision around, around the Affordable Care Act, the President it will not allow there to be any statute come out that he did that he will he will veto it if it does not have adequate protections for pre-existing conditions That's and you know we budget. would be a lot further along in the process of strengthening this bill strengthening our health care system if you all weren't in court trying to tear it up the president